you will never become ultimately happy, successful, and in love until you become your authentic self. And I can say that because it was a challenge for me to do that. And I know it's true for absolutely every single person because I also believe that every person was born worthy with purpose and could achieve whatever they wanted in their lives if only they could become their authentic selves. I mean, I have this crazy idea that, you know, we were all born equal and that God, whatever you believe in, granted all of us these equal abilities, but we don't always know that. Because see, we come into the world at different times and we have different ideas about ourselves. We come into different, through different families, different countries, and we may start to form ideas that somehow there's something wrong with us. And there never is. We just have formed ideas and beliefs that have prevented us from recognizing how wonderful we are, how brilliant we are, what we have to offer. And I can say all these things because I know that is true and this is what I have lived. I was talking, I've been talking recently about what's happening in our world because I do understand that. And so you might be feeling more impetus to become yourself now because you're feeling some pressure, you're feeling some fear, possibly uncertainty, because the world is changing. We're going through a galactic change and our world globally is changing. And so, yeah, you're going to feel a little out of place, but you came with a plan. You have a plan that was given to you of something you were supposed to be to offer the world. There's something in you that is valuable and worthy and the world needs it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be alive. This is tr truly what I believe about every single person. Now, it took me a long time to get here, but I this is why my work is moving in this direction because I know it's true. And I know that if more people understood and owned who they were and, and became their authentic self, we wouldn't have the kind of conflicts and wars and things that we see going on in our world. People would be happy. They wouldn't be fighting one another because they became who they were meant to be. And they have this notion, they have this awareness now that they're connected to spirit, that they're connected to all that is or whatever you might think. But they know that there's something more within them. We all know that we don't live forever. So what is it? We, we don't stay in these bodies forever. So what are we doing? We live in our consciousness. You see, and the only reason we don't become our authentic selves and live these extraordinary lives is because we're not taking the time to work through our preconceived notions and limitations and ideas and restrictions that either we picked up as we've lived our lives because we thought we did something wrong or we learned it from our parents, from our ancestors or something. We just picked it up somewhere. And I did that. And I was, um, but now that's what makes my life great now because I'm being my authentic self. I've had to step through all these barriers and that this is what I'm doing. And this is how, what my coaching is. I, when I work with someone, I never stop until I get you to understand how important you are and what value you have and the things that you came to give the world. You may not have done them yet, but they're in you. And this is the work that I do, whether it's in my private coaching or in my program, same result. And as I was going through all of this, I recognized that I have years of, of things that I've channeled, that I've downloaded, that could change anyone's life. Years of them. And I've gone through them all. But I didn't talk about it because I wasn't willing to become my authentic self. So I wasn't going to tell you. That's what we do. We think there's something different about us that's not right. And so let's not tell other people. That's never true. Every single person, whatever you have judged about yourself is something that you came to give to the world. And when you understand how valuable that is, you're going to start to become your authentic self because that's how you were created. I was uh, going through some papers today and I found um, a message I received in 1989. I'm going to read it to you. Now, I these are exactly how they came through. And I just want you to understand, I would sit down, I did this every single day and I still do it every single day. I will sit down and I will receive information. I go into meditation and I will just listen and say, what are you going to tell me? In the beginning, I was asking questions because I'm very controlling, but I did get an answer for this one question that I, uh, that I asked. And many people understand this because I've talked about it so long, so often uh, about money. And many of us may be looking at that now and thinking about it because of the world changing. And then we're talking about, oh, are we going to go into a recession? Are things going to get terrible? Prices are too high. We have inflation. Yeah. But certain people aren't suffering. 
Why is that? Why are they different than what we're experiencing? Because they're probably they have figured out how to become their authentic selves and they're allowing the flow of money or energy, whatever, to come to them. They're allowing that to happen. It is just a natural flow. Everything in our world is energy and we have the ability to use it any way we want. So I'm going to read this to you. Um, advice on my current financial situation. This has gone on for me for many decades for, because just to be quite honest, it, um, I always did things because I just loved helping and I just had this thing in me that I just had to do something to help people. And so a lot of times I would um, not ask for the money. I've talked about that before. When I first started coaching, I would be so thrilled with people and then they would walk out and I'd forget to get the money. And then I also had trouble deciding, well, how much am I going to charge for my work? How much am I going to charge for my program? See, because I know that what I have is, is worth more than what most, pe most people could pay because I've taken my life, my entire life, I'm 72 now, so I've taken my entire life and put all this information and knowledge that I've had into it, this work, so I don't know how much you would pay for that, or you might want to go through all the crap that I did to get the knowledge and wisdom that I have now. So anyway, this one was, um, you could choose to look at your at this period of your life as either some horrible disaster inflicted upon you, or as a marvelous opportunity you've created in order to experience a humbling process you've long desired. Now that humbling, humbling process that is referred to here is me being honest about how I'm receiving all this information, how I've been doing this for all these years, how I created businesses, how I did everything. But I, I was not willing to do that because of my insecurities, my fear of judgment that we all carry. But also, I was getting stuff that I didn't know was, was valid in the beginning. But it was. Okay. Um, your, finan uh, yes, uh, your financial matters, on some levels, are merely a reflection of the true deservedness you experience and on other, other levels as a means for controlling your environment. That may not make sense to you, but it does to me. If I didn't tell people what I had, if I didn't tell them how valuable it was and what it's done for me, I could stay hidden. I could stay in my hermit stage. I wouldn't have to be out in the world giving it to people. I wouldn't have to be on stage. This is what, how it felt. I'm introverted. I don't didn't like doing it. Um, but this is what I did. So I would hold things back because it's changing my life, but I'm not going to tell you because you're going to think it was weird how I did that. Yeah, that went on for many, many years. Um, okay. All is experience, as you well know, and it would be more useful to seek the valid, uh, the validity of yourself you gain through the experience, meaning that every experience we have gives us something to find that validates who we are. Um, you also have felt that you would be financially comfortable, as it were. You, you would not be. <laughs> I've always known this. Okay. You have also felt that you would not be financially comfortable, as it were, until uh, you corrected some issues in your life that you have viewed as bad. And bad was in quotes. When I would receive information all the punctuation, the quotation marks, all of that would come to me, and that's what I would write. And they said bad is just a subjective thing that we all will think that we did something bad, and I come to find out, no, nothing was bad. We were just learning. We were just gain, gaining information. But if we keep um, classifying it and telling ourselves we're bad in some way, well, then that will be the experience that we will live and never become who we're meant to because we're bad. This in, in, this in itself will lead you to see that judgment has a great deal to do with your current dilemma. <laughs> your current dilemma, that's interesting. Uh, you have experienced greater joy and spontaneity recently merely in acknowledging who you are, even with the temporary state of lack. I cannot emphasize enough your desire to begin acknowledging your accomplishments, thereby establishing your spiritual worth, and other more physical results will follow as these have. 
And that was true. Um, that was 1989. It had just started a business and I didn't know what I was doing. And then um, it started to go well. And years later, I was making all kinds of money. But I still wasn't going to tell you how I did this. This is a different era, though. Um, we're moving through a change in the world, a, a galactic change, and everybody needs to understand who they are. Because, see, when you understand who you are, you're putting light and love into the world, and that changes everything. And that's the work that I'm doing. I need people to love themselves, to understand their worth and value, because I know that'll be my contribution to the world, because things will change. We won't be hating one another. We won't be running around yelling all kinds of crazy things. And we will be taking care of our planet a bit more. Because we're not fighting with one another about all these different issues. Now, it's not going to happen tomorrow, but it will happen. And my work will get you there. So I'm going to spend this time, which is going to be thrilling for me, working with people. It's already been happening. We had such great um, follow-up calls yesterday, and I'm actually enjoying them because we're just hanging out and having fun and raising our vibrations because that's what we need to do now. And it's been, and it was thrilling. I didn't know that these follow-up calls would be so enjoyable for me but they are they just keep us all in such a great place as the world is changing which it will continue to do so you have to become your authentic self if you want to move through this period and be all that you can be and have everything you want and that's the work i'm doing